what's new and what's missing in MIUI 12.0.0.3 stable update based on Android 10 running on the Xiaomi Poco F1. What's up peeps, Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you what is new and what is missing in the first MIUI 12 update for the Xiaomi Poco F1. Do note this is the official global stable build and the version number is 12.0.0.3. The Android version is 10 and the security patch level is from July 2020. Do note that at the time of recording this video, this build is for pilot testers only, which means as per Xiaomi, it is a stable beta. Now, please don't ask me what do you mean by a stable beta because I'm not a software engineer. Another thing I do recommend is that you do read the pinned comment because it has a lot of frequently asked questions. Any questions which are already answered in the pinned comment are going to be ignored and I am sorry about that, but it is what it is. Another thing you will notice is that have a look at this storage thing. As I move my device, you will notice that the water in here is moving. So this is a new feature which you do find in MIUI 12. Next up, let us go back to the home screen. And as you just saw, the crappy animations from Poop Launcher are still there, which means the animations are still broken. Now, me personally, I'm not looking for any fixes on how to fix Poco Launcher animations but in case you do want to fix the animations in Poop Launcher we do have a separate video for that which can be found in the description of the video and in the pinned comment as well. Another thing you will notice is that you do not have any icon animations so other than the broken Poco Launcher animations in MIUI 12 they did make a big deal about the animated icons but that feature is again not present in Poco F1 MIUI 12 build because we are running the very famous Poop Launcher. Next up before I forget you do get the new MIUI 12 boot animation and another thing I have noticed is that the boot up screen now says Poco. Previously on my device it would say Poco phone because I have the international variant but now it says Poco only and you do have the unlocked text which has now been removed and replaced with the unlocked lock on the top of the boot logo. Then we can check out the app vault. So the application vault is still the old one. This is not the new one and not sure why the back animation is not working but it is what it is. Next up let us check out the recents. So you do not get the super cloned iOS 12 style animations in this MIUI 12 build. You have the old animations blame poop launcher one more time you do not have the option of floating windows on top however floating windows is present in this build and all you need to do is press and hold on an application in your recents and tap on this icon and it is going to open it in floating windows there it is gallery was opened in floating windows i can move this around and i can also dismiss it like so we can now jump into the settings and have a look at the different customizations which we get and the ones which we do not get. So right off the bat, if you go into connection and sharing and then you go into the cast option, you do get the new MIUI 12 cast feature, which does let you hide your private items and they call this universal casting. Next up, we can go into lock screen and you do have raise to wake and double tap to wake your screen and these two options are working absolutely fine now you do not get aod because always on display on lcd panels is something which is not recommended then the new option which you get over here is if you go into lock screen clock format you do have this fourth lock screen clock format which is new and has been added with miui 12. next up if you go into display and then you go into brightness level you do have the option of sunlight mode however to use sunlight mode you first have to disable automatic brightness because that is when sunlight mode is going to work and this is something which you can use when you are outdoors and the sunlight is very bright moving on you do have color scheme you have different options and you can also configure your color temperature as well 
Next up, we do have dark mode 2.0, which does let you configure dark mode for individual applications and third party apps as well. And you can also adjust your contrast automatically. And yes, this option is working absolutely fine. Moving over to system font, it is going to open the themes application. As you can see, we do have the old themes app. However, the font which is baked in is Roboto. So you do not get the new Me Landing Pro font or anything like that. And dynamic fonts is also still missing, something which was shown off with Me UI 11, but it is yet to be released. Next up, you do get the new control center. So you'll go into this option of control center and notifications shade. You also have your existing options of hiding the notch. You can choose between three different styles and you can also hide notch in individual apps. However, make sure you enable this use new control center toggle and bam, here it is, the new control center in the building along with animated icons. So animated icons are working in the control center. They just do not work on your home screen because of poop launcher. Next up, we can go into sound. So you do not have the option of sound assistant, something which would let you choose your volume level on a per app basis. That option is of course missing and next up we can go into notifications nothing new over here as well and home screen of course we have already had so much praise for poop launcher that it is not even worth talking about it anymore going into wallpaper if you go into my page and then go into wallpapers you will see that there's nothing in my live wallpapers and in home screen effects also there is nothing which means miui 12's super live wallpapers are surprisingly missing from this build. I mean, I don't know what to say or how to praise Xiaomi for their awesome effort on this MIUI 12 build for the POCO F1. Next up, we can go into themes, go into my page. And here, if you go into themes, these are the three themes which are baked in. And let us check if they have fixed the issue wherein the icons in the status bar would not change. So here we have, switch over to classic theme and Please let us not change my lock screen and home screen, just apply it. And I have the icon from the classic theme. Let us go back, move over to the POCO theme, apply it. The theme was applied successfully. The icons have still not changed. It's been ages since we've had this bug and Xiaomi is pretty shameless about it. They do not believe in fixing bugs. Other than that, the light which you just saw blinking this guy over here this is the proximity sensor it is not a feature my recording equipment can capture it blinking you cannot see it with the naked eye so please do not ask me how to enable this feature nothing much to talk about in password and security in privacy again you have the half-baked privacy application wherein you do not have the notification log and you do not have the very important miui 12 privacy feature called permission notifications wherein if some application is accessing your microphone camera, you would get a notification in your status bar. That feature is also missing from this build. Moving over to battery and performance, the super hyped ultra battery saver from MIUI 11 announcement is finally present in MIUI 12. Nothing much to talk about in apps. Go into additional settings, full screen display. You do have full screen gestures now initially, when I installed this build, the gestures were a bit laggy and I could find some jitters, but those have since gone away. However, if they do come back, please do not blame me for that. Other than that, you do not get Android 10 gestures, but you can always swipe from the corner to access your Google Assistant. Going back, we can go into button shortcuts. You still do not get the option of partial screenshot and all these options which are missing are present in MIUI 12 China builds. So I have no logical explanation as to why they are not pushed out to global builds by Xiaomi. Next up, we can go back and digital well-being. Well, this is Google's digital well-being which is present. You do not get Xiaomi's implementation of screen time, which means you will not get your focus mode as well and going into special features you do have game turbo however the option of changing your voice is still not there we do have video toolbox and you have a tutorial about floating window what is missing over here is light mode so light mode is not present and if you want to know what is video toolbox well once you enable it 
this is how it looks like and you can record your screen take a screenshot cast and play videos with the screen off which will be helpful for youtube and all the applications which you see down here you can open them in a floating window if you tap on that option and bam there it is you can see that file manager or messaging was opened in a floating window we can try chrome as well and bam there it is google chrome opened in a floating window and you can of course dismiss it as well and now we can move over to the applications so we have the gallery app this is again half baked you do not get your video editor however an important privacy setting which is present here is secure sharing so this allows you to share your pictures without your location info and the metadata about your pictures and videos so i do recommend that you enable this option next up let us have a look at the file manager so the file manager application is also the old one you do not get the new file manager app another important application which we need to talk about is the cleaner application and yes as you can see it does not have the option of definitions so as Manu Kumar Jain said this is Xiaomi's own version of clean master they are no longer using the clean master from Cheetah mobile which has been banned and I think we can trust Manu Kumar Jain when he says they are not using that build next up let's go into tools and here we have clock so the clock app is still the old one and man i just hate these crappy animations of poop launcher then we can check out the calendar application and see if we have the new cards ui so here is the calendar application let's go to the 14th of august tap on the events which we have and bam there it is you have the new card ui now a lot of you will tell me that this has been there for ages but I am going as per Xiaomi's MIUI 12 announcement wherein they said that this is a new feature. Moving over to the camera application, you do get the new camera app and this one does let you theme it. So if you go into settings and then you go into customize, you have the option of choosing your camera mode. So whether you want a more tab or a more panel and then you can also change the colors. Right now they are set to yellow. Let us try blue, tap on apply and now if we go back to the camera application you will see that the accent colors have now changed to blue now what is missing from this camera app is that you do not get vlog mode you do not get kaleidoscope mode so all those features are still missing and we can also check out the super impressive security app from xiaomi so you have a new animation on top and that's about it we do not get the new tabbed ui which is present in miui 12 china and the weather application is also the new one so here is the weather app and as you can see we do have a new weather application present in this build and hmm, you don't want me to rate your apps please other than that let us have a look at the opengl extension application and bam here it is you can see that you have the drivers from 3 11 20 which means they are from march of 2020 as for the benchmark scores here are the geek bench scores on your screen right now and there will be no antutu scores because antutu is owned by cheetah mobile which has been banned by google so i am not running any cheetah mobile apps on my devices all in all my impression of this miui 12.0.0.3 update for the poco f1 even though it is a closed beta right now and it is for pilot testers only it's a useless update in my opinion you do not get many of the features of miui 12 and another thing which i forgot to mention is that if you go into settings and lock screen you do not have your lock screen charging animations either now again this is a closed beta right now but it is a stable beta and if this build is rolled out as a stable update to everyone it is a useless update of miui 12 from xiaomi for the global variants of their devices and this is what they do all the time so here it is peeps that was our what's new and what's missing in miui 12.0.0.3 update for the poco f1 and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you